All right, before you I get started with this video, you ever take you ever took a shit, and when you get done, you feel like something might be left, like dangling or anything like that. Okay, that was me. All right, that was that was me. That just happened a little while ago. So it was really upsetting because I thought I was done, and then your stomach just starts to bubble and shit like that. And then I, I had to go back and do round three. So and uh, yes, I take off my shirt when I take a shit, and uh, I. Don't judge me. I have no, no shame with doing that. All right, you don't get comfortable when you take shit. You got a problem, girl or guy. You have a problem. Uh, you know, I take that shit seriously. I play music. I once I, you know, you, you, when I was younger, I used to bring my fan in there, I'd just sit back, relax, and chill. I used to have a black toilet too. That was amazing. That was a good time. So I used to be the talk of the town. Uh, I just played. Uh, <laughs> anyways, the main reason I wanted to talk to y'all today, I want to talk, I want to do, um, uh, aside from this shit, which was, that took a lot out of me, actually. Oh, man. Depression is probably the, your worst best friend. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, um, you have to treat depression as a best friend because they are your best friend because they know you the most they get you down the most and they can pick you up too in the worst of times um i've been severely depressed before and to the point where i wanted to kill myself you know um it's you know i went to when i was 11 years old i went to therapy because i felt like i wasn't getting enough love from people or anything like that i felt alone you know i, I don't know why i did i had I have, you know, I have a great family and, you know, I had, I had good friends. I just, I don't know. I just felt alone sometimes. And... <sighs> Would you hate motherfuckers like that? You know, the, the, those people who think they're so fucking cool. They're, no, oh, yeah, guys, oh, God, that shit, oh, God. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I got to the point where I wanted to kill myself numerous times. And, you know, it, it's, it sucks because mainly I, I did because I felt really like I failed. Um, especially since I've been getting older, you know, as I get older and it seems like things might be getting better, but then I backtrack or you know, something, some shit happens and I just, I fall apart. You know, it's like I'm a rocket and I'm launching up into the sky and it's it's going good, it's going good, and I finally almost get out of the atmosphere, but then one of my engines break loose. And then I, I keep it steady. I keep it steady, I'm alright, you know, it's still it's still a little shaking, but I, I keep it steady. I'm like, no, we're gonna I'm gonna detach in time. But then another sh another engine breaks, and then another one, and then poof, I shatter. You know, and I've been this at different stages in my life. I've been deeply depressed when I was nine years old, uh, when I was 15, 18, 22, and 27, <laughs> which was last year. Uh, it was just a, a lot of things, just a lot of things, especially recently, because it was just a lot of things, you know, it was just a lot of things. I just felt like I failed just life as a, as a whole. You know, I thought I was doing good, but then I still fucked up on things. And, you know, it's ultimately it is it is my fault i mean like you know i could push i could put blame on this i could put blame on that but it's not worth it when honestly it was a lot of different circumstances but also it was you know i'm in the position because i put myself in this position and yeah this this happened that happened but you know i have to realize that you know i i kind of set it up set it up like that and you know, it's a tough revelation, but it's also like, you know, I just had time to talk to depression like it was my, my brother or like sister almost, <laughs> you know, like a best friend and just say, all right, this is where we're at. You know, I had to, I had to take depression literally by the face like this. All right. And just say, we're not going through this like, like, like the old times. We're going to be better because I'm tired of thinking about killing myself. I'm tired of waking up sad. I'm tired of going to work. I'm tired, tired of going to work sad, I'm tired of do going out sad, coming home sad, I'm tired of all this just sadness and you know, it's it's a real thing. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm still sad because things didn't really work out I as I hope, but a lot of things sometimes don't go according to plan. 
and I've tried I learned to live with that it's just you know it's not always going to go according to plan I could have it all laid out but it's not going to it may not work out but it's okay because me and depression we're we're on the same page and if I get hurt if I'm if I get the scratches and everything if I'm bleeding if I'm down I got I you got to you got to talk to depression and just say, we got, we're going to get over this and grab it by the hand, grab it by the hair, whatever, and say, we're not doing this. Drag that shit out, drag it out. Just, you know, grab, grab depression, drag that shit and say, you know, fuck that. We're not doing this. We're going, we're doing this. Okay. We're doing this. We're doing what I want. We're not doing what you want. What you want to do, sit, sulk, bitch, complain. That's all. But we're going to do what I'm going to do. And you're coming with me because you're going to be there regardless of no matter what happens. But what we're going to do. We're going to go out, we're going to live, we're going to progress, we're going to rise, we're going to be great. And that's what you got to think about depression. You have to be great. No matter how depressed you get and no matter what happens. I got depressed when my best friend died. She died two years ago. She was like a sister. And I got a little, de I, got, I got depressed when that happened. Kept it inside, but I got depressed. And, you know, every day I thought about what would she want me to do, and she would want me to progress. <laughs> she would want me to, you know, move on. But she would also, she was the type of, per type of person that would want you to recognize what you got as a gift. And use that to your greatest advantage, whatever way you can. And, you know, I have to do, I had to do that. Because you can only, <laughs> you can only sit so for so long, you know what I'm saying? So, me and depression, you just got to get on the same page with depression. And it, yeah, it's, it sucks, you know? Yeah, you know, I've done the therapist, I've done the ther therapist, I've done the therapy, <laughs> I've had the sessions, you know, had countless times talking to friends, you know, I, anytime I've been depressed, I've been able to go to my boy Calvin, he's been the best friend, he's like a brother that I wish I, I had. And that, you know, there's other people that's been involved with my life too, that I, you know, I've gone to. And they, you know, they've been great, you know, and, but, you know, he, you know, he, he always say he knows me best, so that's what I, but, you know, you, with depression, it's your best friend, that's your worst enemy, but when you take depression and you grasp it, Hard, you know, like it's a fucking rag doll or some shit, <laughs> and you tell it, you tell them, we're not feeling this way anymore because I'm tired of it. Because it's a down on my life, it's a down on everybody around me because people won't want to be around me. People will want to feel sorry for me. People will want to feel like I'm not, um, you know, worth even hanging out sometimes, you know, because like, every time you come around, you'll be a, you'll be a buzzkill. And, you know, they want to help, but then you don't let them in. And, you know, that's sometimes with me. Uh, you know, I've shut people out, brought people in, shut people out again, yada, 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 yada. But nonetheless, depression is your best friend. Grab that motherfucker and tell him we're not feeling this way anymore. Because that's how it's going to be. Subscribe. Thank y'all. I love y'all. I just want to share that with you. Okay. Also, the fuck boys that have loud ass cars and everything like that. Look, I respect y'all and everything and everything. Much respect. You know, you have your cars. But God, work with me. Okay. Work with me, motherfuckers. See, motherfucker.